Control net for Flux AI images. This is what we are looking for when Flux Diffusion model released. But all those previous control net model for Flux are kind of unstable and not working as usual control net from what we experience in Comfy UI SD 1.5 or SDXL. It required an additional custom node, model files put into other folder, etc. But today, this have been fixed and more convenient by only use one single model file for multiple control net modes and it located in a control net subfolder like what we used to do. Also, the good thing is this new control net model can be run with native Comfy UI control net nodes. So previously, we have talked about the XLab AI version 3 control net, and there is only canny, depth, and soft edge control net support in their control net models. And the cons from XLab AI control net, I think we have to install their custom node to run the control net in order to get it to work in flux, and it's not able to connect multiple control net models in one single workflow which was kind of a drawback for people. And right now we have these newer models called the Flux One Dev Control Net Union Pro. This pro version is trained with more steps and a larger data set. And right here, as you can see, they have six control net modes in one control net model. You have from this example, as you can see, tile, canny, depth, blur, pose, gray, and low quality control net modes in one single control net model. And they recommend the control net conditioning be set from the range of 0.3 to 0.8. Previously, we have talked about the union control net for SDXL in my previous videos. And this is a very similar concept of bringing all the control net modes together in one single control net model file. It's also doable right now in Flux 1 dev models and they bring this concept basically from this all-in-one control net model file to the Flux models right now. So I think it's more convenient, and we are going to see how we can get this running. First of all, you go to the Files Versions tab and download this PyTorch Diffusers Save Tensors file, which is the control net model file. You directly save that in the models slash control net subfolder. So in here, I have the Flux subfolder, and I renamed this model file from the Diffusion PyTorch models anomalously named and changed that to a more meaningful file name in here. I renamed it as Flux One Control Net Union Pro. So after you download this, you can get started running your Comfy UI. Make sure you have the latest version of Comfy UI before proceeding. So in the meantime, we are running the boot up of the Comfy UI, and I load this workflow here that I did for this union control net. And here's one more thing that I'm using. The GGUF quantization version of Flux is more lightweight and can operate at a slightly faster pace. And we have the clip text, also the conditioning from positive and negative going to the control net applied custom nodes. And this is the load control net model. The Flux One Dev Control Net Union Pro is our choice. We are utilizing a single control net model file to experiment with various control net preprocessors, each capable of executing different control net modes. So I'm using the control net auxiliary preprocessors for just more convenience having a drop down, and I select different types of control net preprocessors in one single custom node. And right here, I have passed the first sampling, which is this group. Here is the standard case sampler. Some people have commented in previous videos complaining that Flux cannot run in a basic case sampler. No, actually you are able to do that. And the next group is face swap, and I just want to restore the face of the image. And then after that I'm using the upscale, so in this group I am setting up another tile upscale using that Union Pro control net model, and I'm using the ultimate SD upscale. And the second upscale, which I used 4x face sharpening model, I have remained the same scale size for the image and only do a face sharpening, but it is optional. So you can bypass this custom node if you don't want to sharpen the face of the character. So in here, I have a text prompt, just a very regular text prompt, futuristic style, and then appear a fit muscular guy and using a depth anything preprocessor this time to render a depth map for our control net here. So the first pass 
From the first sampling, we are basically relying on the depth map. And then after that, we got the face restore from my character. And lastly, we do an upscaler using the entire control net and then put that into the ultimate SD upscale. Then we can remain all the sizes or the ratio of each element in the image. And that is how we can do this very simple, easy way in this workflow. I just want to demonstrate how we can use different types of control net and preprocessors within one control net model file, which is this Union Pro for Flux. We can also, in the first sampling steps of conditioning, use other control net modes as well. As you can see, they have canny, tile, depth, blur, pose, and gray and low quality. And the pose is one of the very exciting things that I'm looking forward to when Flux releases. So we can use that in Flux right now. So this is a quick video. I want to talk about this for people who use Diffusion models and my Patreon supporters. We can use one model, control net model file, and play around with Flux right now. So I hope this helped, and I will see you guys in the next video. Have a nice day. See ya.